Hello, I'm going to show you guys how to manage bookmarks on Mac in the Chrome browser. Now this is a 2025 20, year. Um, this always changes a lot with updates to Chrome. Um, right now this here computer is on version 134 of build. Um, so that's what we're going to be showing you on. Okay, so right now I'm on a new browser window basically. No bookmarks. Um, something I'm going to show you first is how to show this bookmarks bar. This is where the bookmarks toolbar is. Um, by default it does not show. So it will look like this. To show that you go to view and say always show bookmarks bar. And that will show them. Now there's nothing there because we don't have any added yet. So let's just go to Microsoft.com. Something you would never do on a Mac. <laughs> so, um, okay. We're going to bookmark this thing, this here web page. There's several ways to do it. You can hit the star here to do it. And then you can rename it like Microsoft, take off all this extra. You, you don't want it to be huge there. You select where you want it, what folder. Um, other bookmarks will put them under the bookmarks um, tab at the top, but bookmarks bar will add it right there on the bookmarks bar that we just showed. And then we'll just do done. Now we see, there it is. Okay, let's add something else. Let's go, can I Google Google.com? Let's see. Okay, we're on Google.com here. Now, of course I'm not signed in at all. I'll explain that later. But let's bookmark Google. Now another way, instead of hitting that star, we can do bookmarks here and just bookmark this tab. Bookmarks, all tab will bookmark Microsoft again since that's still open in that tab. So we're going to do this. Now we're going to say same thing, Google bookmarks bar done. Now you see both of them. Okay. So now what do we do? I'm going to stay signed out. How do we reorder these easily? So after a while when you have millions of them, you'll have an arrow over here on the far right to see the rest of them on the bar. So you can drag these to reorder them. Just click and drag them. That reorders them. You can also drag from the list up and down and stuff um, when you have that arrow over there. Now, how do I edit the links and stuff, you know, and delete them and stuff? You can right click, which on Mac by default, you on a trackpad at least, you can um, click with two fingers to right click and then say delete or edit. You could edit the URL and stuff that's stored. So if you do edit, you can see this is Google one, the URL it points to, so that's where you could edit it. And then you can say, if you want to change it to be in other bookmarks, you could do that and hit save. So now it's going to go away from here. And instead it's going to be up here in other bookmarks. Now something too, like this is where I would put stuff you don't use a whole lot like you know you don't want taking up space on the toolbar there um, Microsoft's going to be in both spots because it shows the toolbar items up here also and then you have your other bookmarks okay so how do I get Google back here right to there okay so easiest would be to go to the bookmarks manager or bookmark manager so this is where all your bookmarks live, more or less. So in other bookmarks we had Google. We can drag it back to bookmarks bar like that. And now it's back on the bookmarks bar. Now, again, in this bookmarks manager, you can do other stuff. You can click these dots to again edit whatever, you know. The most handy thing here is to create folders, which 
a lot of people don't know. But um, let's say we do search engines. Let's call it a folder. So now we got a folder. So we could put Google in search engines. So now if you click this, you have Google sorted into a folder. So this would help you so you don't have a ton over here and you can click a folder and see all the ones in that folder. Um, so yeah, just kind of a way you can move folders and stuff just like you would a bookmark. You can also right click and rename the folder or go into here to the bookmarks manager, again bookmark manager and go there and rename, delete, whatever. Um, and you can even, if like you wanna open all of these, let, let's say I'm gonna put, I'm gonna go on and drag this into here too. So now in search engines, we've got both. So you can say, open all in new, in a new window or open all two here. So see, it will open the two in that folder in two different tabs on that browser window. That's pretty awesome. So it's kind of handy having folders on this. Something too I wanted to explain is signing into the browser or signing into the uh, application of Chrome with your Google account. So once you have bookmarks set up and stuff and even your browsing history, passwords, all that, you can sync to your Google account by signing in here, signing in, and then syncing them. This will help if you have multiple devices or you use Chrome on your phone, tablet, whatever. It will sync the bookmarks when you sign into both browsers um, and your history, all that, passwords, everything can sync that way. So that's something too you may want to consider um, to help you out with syncing everything. Um, now you can sign in and not sync the data, but I don't really know why you would do that hardly, but there's an option for that, not to sync stuff, but still stay, stay signed in. Um, now, some people might want to do that because you could then just go to Gmail and it will be signed in and, you know, your account's all signed in and stuff like that. But I would prefer to sync your stuff and then your stuff is actually being backed up to your Google account. Um, so this is handy. So that's how you would do it. Signing in here at the browser level is how you sync your bookmarks and history and passwords and everything. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I couldn't find a great video of doing this, so that's why I'm doing my own here, especially one current um, to now's date. Um, so I hope this helps some of you. Thanks for watching today and subscribe if you want more helpful tech videos like this.